So I had a bit of a request, well a bit of a request, I had a request yesterday uh, regarding the possibility of maybe leaving my camera on more, providing more footage um, as the painting develops, uh, or as my paintings develop. Um, there are several reasons I don't want to go do down that route too much, but I'll just give you one example. Last night I thought, okay, I I think I know what I want to want to do here. I, I had some sort of designs scratched into the elevator. Didn't like them. There was only one that I changed a little bit and left it this line here. And then uh, I washed in the the elevator with almost straight raw umber, um, except for these roofs, which were uh, I guess I think cobalt blue and alizarin crimson, and maybe a hint of white. No, ultramarine blue. A lizard and crimson and ant of white because I wanted to, to bring this down to being quite dark and it's going to become light again my intention is to put a, a gray sky behind this probably darker at the bottom getting lighter as it goes towards the top because the elevator will be darker on the top probably getting lighter as it goes towards the bottom providing contrast on both areas I had sort of Fight around blindly, well, not quite blindly. Often these are things that I, I that I just uh, I do intuitively, almost, or, or I'm trying to get a feel for things. Uh, I laid a few lines in here and adjusted some things, and I wasn't happy with them. You know, I still have remnants of, of one thought that I scribbled down, and uh, and then looked at it. A, a little while later and thought no that's not going to do so these lines are going to disappear if I were to show you my my commiseration at the moment for one thing it would take so much time with nothing happening on the canvas I know that for the bulk of, of people watching it would lose their interest it would certainly lose mine and it would serve to confuse people I know I would get comments if I just left this and there would be a comment of well I don't really like those lines you know even though it's moot because these lines aren't going to stay but only I know that they're not going to stay so typically what I'll do then is I'll just jump ahead I'll wash in an area and remove it so it becomes a non-issue okay that's that's one thought I've had I'm just gonna pause here I don't enjoy heavy traffic and I live, my studio is pretty close to the road. That I find to be very uh, distracting. Don't like it at all. I like to paint in silence, but also daily for quite a, for a piece of the day, I'll be listening to uh, a YouTube video, which will be a, take the format of a talk show more or less. So I have that talking going on in the background. I like that, that doesn't distract me. It's, I find often they're, they're quite interesting. And I can't, uh, I don't want a video while that's on because of, well, copyright issues, obviously. And uh, yes, I could get into editing and take sound out and do all kinds of other things. That takes more time again. Uh, I'm not willing to dedicate that much time into, into producing these. Um, you know, really, this channel is about me painting I'm opening the door for you a little bit so that you can see what's going on. I do much of my much of my talking is tutorial in nature. I like to give you information. I love to share it with you, um, but there's, there's a thin line there. I don't that I don't want to cross to get into uh, tutorials or, or workshops or things like that. That requires much more intense and organized uh, thought processes and preparation on my behalf. Uh, maybe at some point in the future I'll uh, open a Patreon account and then members uh, will have access to maybe some short uh, tutorials now and then uh, or even some interactive workshop type things. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far into it. I have to make a living. This is how I do it. Anything that, 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 that takes me away from this interferes in my ability to make a living. Uh, I, my channel is nowhere near big enough for me to draw any amount of money whatsoever. 
Uh, I make nothing from my YouTube channels uh, or my YouTube channel. Uh, it, it, it costs me money and time and effort, which I'm willing to deal with. But that's the level at which it will have to stay, at least for the time being. Oh, let's see. Yeah, you know, and again, there are a lot of times where I am... Uh, okay, I think it looks fine. I'll go sit down in my chair for a minute. And I'll come back 30 seconds later and put one brush stroke in somewhere, you know? And I think, okay, that did it. Then I'll sit down again. And I might sit down for 20 minutes uh, or, you know, or go do something in the yard or something upstairs or what have you, but, uh, and then come back and then paint for, for 10 minutes or 20 minutes and then leave again for 30 seconds or leave again for an hour and a half. I never know that in advance. And frankly, I would forget to turn the camera on so much for Sony, these little blurbs. I'm not going to go there. If you have any specific questions, please ask, you know, about, about the processes. I'll try to, uh, to fill you in as much as I can as I'm going. You know, most of it is, well, you can see plainly what I'm doing. Uh, my thinking processes aren't always clear. I still don't know what, how I'm going to do this. This to me is still quite just a wall. It needs a little bit of texture. When I lay the color in there, it's going to be pretty intuitive. That's not something I can help you with. That comes from here and goes right to there. I can't even, I don't even have words for it really often. So uh, that's kind of where that comes from. And there will be times too where I simply don't want to have a camera running when I'm painting, you know. Uh, I, I, there will be times where I'll just have a rough charcoal sketch. Uh, I'm sure this will happen. And then, and then the next clip will be the finished painting. That's how, that's how I do. Anyway, I, it, was a, it was a very valid question and comment and request, but I'm afraid that for the time being, uh, we're just going to kind of go steady, uh, steady as she goes, as they say. Okay? Now we'll get to covering up some of this mess and just washing in. You know, there's going to be very little of this showing, if any, you know, of this, of this uh, stain. I didn't paint it this color intentionally, or stain it this color intentionally. I stained it this color because I had enough left over on my palette from the last painting that I thought I would be able to do the whole thing just using paint efficiently, that's all. And I just, I kind of like this color for a backdrop. Just to get rid of the white. <laughs> well, let's mix up some paint here and... Oh, get rid of this. I'm not going to put much detail in here right now. It's a wash-in, so I'm not going to concern myself with it too much. But I think I'd like to... Our light's going to be coming from the left. Well, you know, upper left. Sun's still in the sky. So I may as well get this in the shadow. Seeing as it's behind the elevator, and behind that, only slightly lighter, but staying still cool with colors. side now on the left. No, I'm still going to go neither lighter nor darker. I'm kind of enjoying this one because I, you know, it's not terribly material to the painting itself, but I do know something about these old grain elevators and uh, I used to work on them. And although, in reality, a grain the even the old ones might look a little different than what I'm painting, there's a lot of room for lateral movement because 
Once they're decommissioned, private owners will change them. They'll do all kinds of things to them. Even when they're in, in, in service, they still uh, got a lot of changes, had a lot of changes made to them. A little more raw umber here. Going a little higher value again, not much. Off to our horizon. Frankly, the other brushes I have, they're all just a little, a little too worn to use accurately. Okay, and we'll get rid of this greenish look. And it's kind of funny because I'm going to go a bluish gray in the sky because what I'm doing is set against this, this orangish brown, this burnt sienna, that's really still pretty translucent. It has a bit of a glow to it, actually a pretty high chroma. So when I throw that on, that, that raw umber, with, which is going to be raw umber and some cobalt blue, it's going to look green immediately, but only because it's against that. Once the painting is covered, you won't notice it so much. What was I thinking? I'm not going to go into the sky yet. I'm going to cover this up. All right, dark, ultramarine blue. Uh, you know, a lizard and crimson. We're going to go with the same colors that are on the roof here. And a white. purple. So we'll add a little more ultramarine blue. brush is brand new so I don't mind scrubbing it a bit of color right now because it'll help to wear down that crispness of the edge not Christmas not Christmas crispness it'll round it off a little bit and it might even serve to loosen up do the initial loosening of some of the of some of the hairs that always like to fall out of a new brush going to need some explanation in the form of lines, but um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, the rest of the painting will help to inform what goes in here. I'm going to add a hint of white to that. A little more raw umber. I may not know the 
whole design that's going in there, but I do know it's a bit of a driveway allowing the trucks to go in. I don't try to report, I really almost never try to report exactly how things technically are built. I don't try to report things accurately because it's not about that, you know? That would be architect, that would be a draftsmanship or, or you know, you'd get orthographic projection involved and you'd get technical accuracy of, well, you know, this can't be there because in the old days that's not how it was done. No, 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 no. It's about the painting. I do like to talk a little bit about, I find the history a little bit of these interesting, so that's why I was pointing out some of these, some of these things, but, uh, you know, as far as the painting is concerned, they're really not that important. What we're trying to end up with is an attractive article. Okay. I'll just uh, speed it up from here. Okay, so we've gone from cobalt blue and raw umber at the base of the sky and um, very little white and as uh, we've worked our way up the sky we've slowly added white and reduced the amount of blue. So until we come to the very top, which, as you can see now, is, uh, you know, pretty much, well, raw umber and white. But, uh, you can still see that that burnt sienna 
bed I laid on there, uh, what is it, two days ago now, it's not dry. It's coming through. It's mixing. And it has kind of a nice effect. I really don't mind that color at all. It's kind of warmish. So, there is our wash-in. Next, we uh, pick up the, the brushes and we don't use any oil. I'm just going to be going into it with straight paint. And we'll begin on the sky, but it needs to sit now for a minute. 